This is the Milwaukee Packout three drawer version. They didn't have any two drawers in stock, otherwise I would have done that and compared it with the DeWalt two drawer version. Now, first impressions, I like this. I like the DeWalt system better in terms of opening it. It's very smooth. You don't need a lot of effort in there. You can really get in there. There's not gonna be any problems opening this. The plastics are pretty comparable. This feels like it's more solid and it actually looks like it's gonna be a little bit more space efficient. I like the slide of the DeWalt better. It's just more refined here, as you can see right here. It's very similar to what you would expect on a, a piece of furniture with slides on it. Also, what I really like, and especially since I'm going to be using this primarily leaving it outdoors, there are these rubber gaskets here, which when you close, actually do provide a decent seal from the elements. Leaving it outside, chances are you don't want any water or anything to get in, into your system. And this appears to provide a much better seal than the Milwaukee Packout. Now, the Packout is more expensive, of course. This is the three drawer version, and I do have a two drawer version that's coming through, but I imagine that a lot of the components are gonna be very similar. They do boast this more robust corner on all four corners. So that does add a little bit dimensionally to the whole system, which may or may not matter to you. The top of the case here, this is the way it locks onto the DeWalt Tufts. And if you have any other DeWalt systems, you can stack them on top. So I actually got two of them. So it, it locks in place over there and over here, depending on what kind of a setup you're gonna have. As far as the usability on the top, there's really only this one small section where you might leave a few screws, a little bit handy, but that's about it. This is where they might've put a handle, but it, there isn't one. Of course, there's no handle either on the Milwaukee Packout, but this top section does appear to provide more usable space for putting certain things such as things such as like screws or bits and pieces as you put together or assemble or make things. Now, this bar is nice because it locks and keeps all this stuff in place. I feel like Milwaukee designed this so that if this fell off the back of your pickup truck, it's going to come out pretty much unscathed. Nothing's going to fall out. Here, less protected. It does have decent handles, which are spring action loaded, so they do go back in. And the packout does not have anything like that. There are actually no other handles to carry your box except for these side beams here that are on all four sides. So it's gonna be a little bit easier to carry the DeWalt too because it's also a little bit smaller. Now Milwaukee, of course, they sell the carts and you attach these things on top of other pieces, which probably all fit in nicely with all this stuff up there, which I will test later when I get the two drawer version in here just to stick these back on. Now I am not a big Milwaukee person. I do have a few pieces and I do find that the tools are really built really well, at least as comparable to what I would expect in terms of the top few name brands here in the US. Inside here, you actually get a set of two plus six dividers for the three drawer toolbox. I know there are definitely going to be some complaints that these are not enough dividers, particularly since it seems that the reason why you get drawers is so you can organize things, right? And if you have a lot of little bits and pieces that you need to organize, this isn't going to be it. I feel like they just want to sell you their other system kit on top that allows you to organize those things better. But the fact is they do have this set and it should come in here. So if you do get the three drawer toolbox for whatever reason, you're shopping Black Friday or something and you're looking around, it should have this. Okay, so don't buy it if it doesn't have this or ask for a discount or something. Now, if you can see on the side over here, even though it looks beefier, it's not. And then the drawer slides are down here. They're smooth, smooth enough coming in and out. It does feel really smooth, but this feels more like furniture. I don't know how tough these things will be. And the locking mechanism is really reassuring. However, Milwaukee here, the whole thing slides out fully. You get almost completely 100% access as, as here as well as you do over here in the DeWalt. So those two things are very comparable. Now, if you can see in here, there are no divider systems in here. See, none. You're going to have to provide your own. So that's another positive benefit for the Milwaukee packout system, at least. No, I was saying look, they only get this set, but at least they give you some. So this is not as nice. You can get your fingers in there. And then when you push it in, 
you have to lock it in the place over there. Whereas this, you just push really easily and there's a nice reassuring locking mechanism. So what they do is they give you this bar, this metal bar here, that's definitely gonna be more sturdy if this fell off the back of your truck. A lot of people don't know, but this actually goes and it slides down and it slides right in place. You just push it in down below and it stores in place. So if that does bother you, that can get put away so that it's not in the way until you're ready to secure your system down and uh, put this up here. This gives you a little bit of an area here to lock your gear. It's gonna keep all three drawers in place, held together by maybe some sort of padlock, for instance, but uh, that's not really necessarily gonna protect anybody from just cutting it open or just taking a whole box. The wallet system has no such thing, so there is no way to really lock your system down. There are no locks, there's no keys at all. I do that they have this whole thing for you to put a little bit labeling system in there and it's gonna be slightly protected inside here. Milwaukee does not have that. That's pretty simple to do. You just, just tack on labels or do some other magic marker or something like that. Note that the pack out system does take a bit more space. So if you do look at these things at the bottom dimensionally, as you can see, it takes up more space, but obviously maybe it might fit a little bit more. But as you can see, a lot of the side space is actually taken up by having those bars over there on the side. Now, which one's better? If I really had to pick one for my purpose, I would have to say that I don't take these things to job sites. I think that the fact that the DeWalt system is cheaper and it's more compact, makes more efficient use of the space because it doesn't have all the other rugged stuff. I would personally go more with the DeWalt Tough System 2.0. I am not a contractor. I don't take my tools out. I don't have to worry about them falling off the back of a truck. Now, if I were a contractor and constantly taking my tools back and forth, I would take a really good look at the pack out system instead because it's definitely appears to be built a little bit more solid and more rugged. And what's to say you can't have both of the systems? You can, as you can see, this one is right now on sale for the holidays. $100 and this one as as part of Home Depot's buy more save more kit you can get two of these for like about roughly 20% more expensive than something more comparable from the DeWalt side. The difference in price isn't too crazy especially right now. Now of course if you are a big Milwaukee fan it makes sense that you get Milwaukee keep it all red and as you can see there's a bunch of features here that maybe I didn't go over but it's it pretty much covers everything that you would think. There's a QR code you can scan to learn a bit more about the system. And of course, this whole thing will fit on some sort of hand truck that you can just pull in and pull out. Now the claim is the most versatile, durable, modular storage system. That may or may not be true right now, but for sure, this is definitely one of the top most ones. Now this claims a 50 pound capacity. I don't know about the tough system. I'm not 100% sure. But you know what? I am definitely not going to be packing this with 50 pounds worth of tools on a regular basis. And if I do, I'm gonna be putting on a cart anyway. That is my quick non-professional contractor grade thoughts on these. And once again, I think this is better for the home user. It's more portable with the nice handles on the side and better drawer sliding system. This rubber gasket does appear to seal this pretty well that you really have to really just get some pressurized water in there in order to get water in the system that prevents my tools from getting all rusty and stuff. It'll keep the dust out. Okay, that's it for this video. Please try for more. And I'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching.